welcome back to another video. Just a few minutes ago, I got Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder in the mail. This is the U.S. edition. I got a really good deal on it because I ordered it from Target when they had a buy one, get one 50% off sale. So I got this one and the new Mythographic book, and I ended up getting a really good deal. I wanted to be able to do a individual flip through and review and share my first impressions and my thoughts on this book. Most of you know if you've been watching my channel for quite some time that I usually throw all of my coloring books into one video and I'll do a massive haul coloring book flip through and review video but for this one I thought it deserved a video all on its own. I have not looked through any of the flip throughs that have been posted online. I have not watched any of Johanna's pre-release videos showing the images in this book so this is going to be my true first impressions. I have been on Amazon and I have read some of the reviews for this U.S. edition so I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and my first impressions stick around if you check the description box down below you will find links down there for my Facebook group my Etsy shop and my patreon if you would like to support me there I also now have channel membership if you would like to find more information out about that you can click the join button down below the video this cover is just absolutely beautiful like all of Johanna's books I love the covers on all of her books they are always so creative so beautiful I love the gold embossing that she she has here standing out from the tiny little white illustrations on here we've got this gorgeous yellow color and then it just says Johanna Basford rooms of wonder step inside this magical coloring book okay y'all so let's go ahead and open this book and like I said these are my absolute first impressions I've not seen anything in this book yet the only thing I've seen is the page that Johanna pre-released when or just before she was getting ready to release the book the free page that was available on her website but I have not yet seen any flip throughs. So this is going to be my real first impressions. <laughs> So I'm really excited to share my first impressions and my thoughts and what I think of all of the images in this book, as well as the paper and the quality of the book. So we have this first page here with a bunch of keys on it and the paper or the front and the back of the book, this is the same as her previous books. And then it looks like the paper is much whiter. Now I have read some of the Amazon reviews and I wanted to talk a little bit about that because a lot of it is about the paper. Now my first thoughts on this, just feeling the paper, the paper is a smoother paper and it does look much whiter. I am going to pull out some other coloring books that I feel like this paper is almost exactly the same or very comparable to. But here on the first cover we've got some gorgeous keys and then it just says Penguin Books which is the publisher of these coloring books. We've got our This Books Belongs To page. Like all of her other books, we've got the introduction here. Welcome to Rooms of Wonder, a collection of inky interiors for you to explore and bring to life. Hidden on each page or sometimes within a double page spread are a secret key and a door. Find the key to unlock each door and progress to the next room. Take your time to look around. There's plenty of knickknacks and curios to catch your eye. Gaze a while into the gem room or wander around the country kitchen or see if that thing you misplaced has been handed in to the lost property office. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is adorable. <laughs> Some rooms are wildly fantastical, like the Wizard's Workshop or the Woodland Library, and others might seem quite ordinary at first glance, an office or an ice cream parlor, but there's always a magical twist within the inky artwork designed to charm and delight you. So without further ado, let's turn the page and step inside your next coloring adventure. Much love, Johanna. And I love how she puts her actual signature down here. So this page here, as with all of her other coloring books, it says a guide to exploring and then it just tells you a little bit about the coloring books. We've got these cute little keys here as bullet points which is really adorable. The first one says I prefer colored pencils to pens. You can blend and layer the colors to create beautiful effects and they are a little more forgiving than ink which can bleed through the paper. If you do use pens check that they are suitable for the paper on the color palette test pages at the back of the book. Pop a blank sheet of paper beneath the page you are working on to catch any ink transfer 
and prevent indentation. Don't try to color right into the binding or force your book to lay flat on the desk. Instead, be gentle and leave a little breathing space down the spine as you color. Share your work. We all love a peek through the keyhole. So share your colorful creations with hashtag Rooms of Wonder or upload them to the coloring gallery on my website, johannabassford.com. So that's really, really neat. I don't know how many of you knew that, but if you finish a coloring page and you want to share it, you don't just want to share it on Facebook in some of the groups on Facebook, my group or some of the Johanna Bassford groups or any of the other wonderful coloring groups, you can go and share it on her website and upload it to her gallery. So it already looks like we have nothing but, like the title says, rooms of wonder and there's so many different adorable little things on these pages. They are all very, very small and intricate. So just looking at these first couple pages, it looks like the rest of the book is going to be really, really adorable. We've got a little bunny here, a little picture frame, just a bunch of adorable little things on shelves. Super, super cute. And then you still have some space here to color a background if you would like to. And then this page here is one of those that I really, really love where you've got all the individual little objects on the page. These are fantastic for testing out any of your different colored pencil sets. Now we have some more rooms. Here's another one of her pages, like with her other coloring books, where she just gives you a few different individual things to color on one page. So this page here where we have just these individual little illustrations, four of them, it's much like what she does in a lot of her other books, like this World of Flowers book where she has the bugs, and these pages are also fantastic for testing out any of your colored pencils. I did each one of these with a different colored pencil set. I love how all of them turned out. I believe this one is Polychromos. This one is Pablo's, and this one is the Spear Farben. But we've got lots of these adorable little rooms. We've got some plants over here and lots of little knick-knacky type of things, clouds in the window. This book just leaves so much room to get really super creative. Again, we've got very small, small things on a lot of the pages. So if you're someone who is a little intimidated by very small, small individual things on the pages in coloring books, this may not be the coloring book for you. And I would suggest if you are a beginner or just finding this wonderful hobby, maybe start with something like World of Flowers. Speaking of, this page I just flipped to looks just like something you would find in World of Flowers. How beautiful is this page? So you're still getting flowers in this book, which I absolutely love that. We even have some butterflies mixed into this page. You all know how much I love coloring butterflies. I think butterflies and leaves and flowers are some of my favorite things to color. Here we have a little desk with an old fashioned looking typewriter. How adorable is that? You've got lots of background space. Another very cute whimsical page. A little chair here with a stack of books. So cute with a beautiful background that you can color in. And if you wanted to come back and do a background on the outer page, you could totally do that as well. Now keep in mind, like with all of the other Johanna Bassford books, this is double-sided. So like I said at the beginning of the book, when I read all the little keynotes, you wanna make sure that you put a piece of paper or something behind the page before you use other mediums aside from colored pencils. Here on this page, we just have a big circle with lots of mushrooms on the inside of it, several different mushrooms, and then some little hanging jars, which are quite adorable. And then over here, like with a lot of her other books again, she has just a whole bunch of different mushrooms. Now, if you've seen some of her other books, like Magical Jungle, I think there's a page in there where it just has nothing but leaves, all different kinds of leaves, all on one page. But I think that she does that in quite a few of her books. So her art style has not changed. This one I think is just a little bit different from her other books where we've got all of the little magical and fantasy like rooms. This one is super cute. This is a double page spread and it's got the shelves here. We've got some little gems down here. We have a stack of books with a magnifying glass, lots of bottles over here. This is really adorable. I love the images in here. Oh goodness, so now we've got rooms full of fish with very steampunky looking fish tanks. That is super, super cool. Now I said I was gonna do a paper comparison and I'm gonna do that 
towards the end of the video. And just in case you've already seen this coloring book, I will make sure that I put timestamps at the bottom of the video. This is a really cool page. Look at this one. We've got a windmill here with lots of balloons. These images in this book are super, super creative and fun. Very fantasy-like. I absolutely love them. Look at this little bee house. We've still got our flowers here. We've got little shapes here that sort of look like a beehive. You could get so creative with those and make a really cool looking background and then even come in here and color this part of it as well. A very contrasting color from what you colored these little hexagonal shapes here. Here over on this side we've got another room. We actually have three individual rooms. It looks like leveled rooms which is super super cute. If you wanted to color each one of these individually you could do that or you could color them as a whole. And then over here we've got more very tiny little images that you can maybe test some of your different colored pencil sets on or even color that page as a whole as well. There's so many different things in this book. I really really love it. We've got lots of little bottles and I love the little shapes. We've got suns and moons and stars and planets inside all of the little bottles. This is the coolest page ever. This is the page that she actually put out as a freebie. So if you've not colored that page yet, you can color it in the book or I think you could probably still go to her website and download it and color it for free or print it on different paper if you wanted to. But I absolutely love this page and if you go to Johanna Basford's Facebook group, you will find so many different versions of this page. I'm sure by now if you just googled Rooms of Wonder Johanna Basford galaxy page or something like that, you would probably find tons of different colored versions of this page to be able to get some ideas for this one. Oh, this one is super cute. Look at that. It's like a little candy vendor shop or something. Or is it ice cream? Oh, how cute. It's ice cream. You've got little sprinkles here and different toppings for your ice cream. You've got some ice cream sundaes down here. And then here is the case down here with all of the ice cream. That is a super fun page. And these up here would be super fun to color as bubbles. I don't know, that's just my fun idea. <laughs> and then we have another really cool room over here. Again, lots of little tiny objects. This page has lots of little tiny flowers. It looks like lots of little tiny flowers inside of a house. This page here is very mandala-like with lots of different images. This reminds me a lot of the Circle of Life coloring book. And speaking of, I am going to be pulling out that book because I'm going to be showing you a comparison of the paper between that book and this one towards the end of the video. This one is really beautiful with an old fashioned looking key. I see lots of golds here on this page and maybe a lot of blues and golds in the background. That would be really pretty. Here's another one that is very mandala-like to me. And then you can come in and use contrasting colors on the background to really make this image stand out and pop. Here we have another one of those pages where we've got the individual items where we can test some of our different pencils or you can color it as a whole. Oh, this page is beautiful. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This may be the first page that I color. Look at all the flowers and the fancy old antique looking vanity. I absolutely love that. The mirror and everything, the little beads hanging here. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I wonder if anybody's colored that. I'm gonna have to go search through some of the Facebook groups and see. And like I said, I have not done that yet. <laughs> the only one that I have seen popping up over and over again is that page that I saw that she released for free. This one looks like it is a closet with lots of cute little dresses and purses and just some other clothing, a little shirt and a skirt. And then over here we have some more really cute clothing and you can just color all of these individually or as a whole and add a background. Then we have a double page spread of some flowers. And look at this cuckoo clock. Isn't that so cute? Oh, I love that. That would be a whole lot of fun to color. And then we have another individual page with lots of cakes on it. Oh, I love this one. Look at that. It's like a little house behind the trees. <laughs> and it's all coming together in a way that it is so creative. Look at the little bed up here. How adorable is that? And then over here, it looks like we have a shower that's in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> 
How super creative. We, a lot of these leaves that I'm seeing here on this page, they look a lot like the leaves that you would find in Magical Jungle and the little bird that we have here. So it looks like a lot of this book is a combination of rooms and then she has some things actually thrown in that she has put in some of her other books. It's typical Johanna Basford artwork, which we all really, really love. So I am trying to just push it open just a little bit because you could see the fold in the book it's sort of popping up and it would make it a little bit more difficult to color this but I'm sort of afraid to push down too much to open it up just because of what I read on the front of the book to where you should probably go gentle on this part and not try to push it open too flat. So I'll try to play around with that a little bit more after I'm done filming. But for those of you that have tried to open this up or flatten the spine just a little bit more, you'll have to let me know what your experience was down in the comments below because it really does need to be spread apart just a little bit here so that we can have a flatter surface to be able to color inside the book. So this page is just really, really adorable. We've got all the little cakes up here and some little bottles with some little goodies in them. It looks like some cookies. And then we've got all these little bottles and canisters in the shelf here down below. So this one again gives me mandala vibes. It's just a bunch of cakes all the same in a circular pattern. And then we have a key with some very steampunky looking wheels and gears on the outside. And here's another one that looks very steampunky, but mandala-like at the same time. Again, we have another page where we have four individual items to where you can test out your pencils and maybe spend a few hours on each one of them and then come back when they're all done and add a background to that. Here again, we have another room with a couple shelves and we've got a few bottles and just some more steampunky looking things here. At least that's the vibe I'm getting with some of these. So I'm just picturing lots of golds and like metal type colors on some of these pages. I think that would be really, really pretty. Here we have another page that is giving me mandala vibes. We've got a couple old fashioned looking carriages here and then some fans down here at the bottom. We even have some jewels thrown in here. It's just a bunch of little different illustrations, old timey looking illustrations. We even have an old timey tabletop record player over here. And of course you could come back with a really creative background. Here we have another page that has just a bunch of individual cutesy items on it. And then we have another room which is whimsical and fantasy-like and very, very cute. And then we've got our flower border on the outside with a couple butterflies in each one of the corners. Then we have another page where we just have some of the individual items, again, the ones that I like to just test my different mediums on or my different colored pencils. I've seen quite a few people, though, do these as a whole and then add a beautiful background. We've got another page just like that over here. And these all make very fun individual quick colors if you just wanna sit down and color something for a few minutes or maybe you only have an hour and you just wanna finish something really quickly. So we have a a lot of those pages where we just have a circular pattern where they look just more like a mandala type image and those are really reminding me of the circle of life coloring book this page has a bunch of little different postcards and boxes and letters so so cute over here we've got some owls and it looks like on this page the line art is just a little bit thicker than some of the others but this is another little creative room here's another super creative room again it's got some of these leaves that I see a lot of in Magical Jungle. We have a little table here in the middle with some cakes, super, super cute. This page is an adorable little desk that is just cl cluttered with so many different things. We've got some gems up here and some bottles and canisters. We even have some little gems inside the canisters. So if you wanna practice coloring your gemstones, you can totally do that on this page. They are just everywhere, even on the top of the desk. And I do have a video where I have showed how to color gemstones. I'll go ahead and link that one in the upper right hand corner for those of you that don't know how to color gemstones or really want to learn how to. So here we have another room with lots of shelves. Again, very small, small little individual items. This page is six different individual bottles. And then they have some different rooms on the inside, which is really super adorable. This one here has a room, even has the lighting and everything. It looks like a kitchen. 
And then this one over here looks like a little office. And then it looks like we just have a little produce stand over here. Super, super cute. A room inside of a pineapple. And then this one is super, super cool. This one is an actual cake with the icing and everything. And then the room is actually inside the cake. That is so creative. Another page where we just have a bunch of little individual things to color. And then a telephone with the room inside the telephone. And then this one is a room inside a big, huge planter, and it's actually a bathroom. And then we have our very last page says the end. Of course, you can color this page however you want, and then do a beautiful background, and that would be a super quick color. And then over here on this side, we have our color palette test page, and then we just have a little book down here in the corner and a hat up here in the corner. And then the other side is also a color palette test page, so you can use this to test your different pencils if you wanted to. You could even color some of the individual items that are in the corners and test your pencils on those before you color the actual page. And then of course, as with all of her books, we've got a beautiful back page. This one has keys on it. And it looks like this paper, the cover, is the actual same paper that is in some of the other books. But the paper on the inside of the book is different from what her previous books are. We're gonna talk about that now. So I have the book opened up to just a random page, but this is the difference between the cover in the paper. This one is much more of a bright white and then this one is more of an off-white. This is World of Flowers and what a coincidence that I just happened to open to this page. Again we have like a room with a lot of different shelves and this is actually World of Flowers. <laughs> So now we have a whole entire book with Rooms of Wonder rather than just some of the pages sporadically put throughout some of the other books. So if you really like the pages like this, you may really love the Rooms of Wonder book. But the paper is a totally different color. This is more of an off-white. This is a very bright white. This paper is just a little bit thicker and it does have a little bit more tooth. If I'm feeling one right up against the other, this one is much, much smoother. Now this book here is Romantic Country and I wanted to show you the difference in the papers between the Rooms of Wonder book and Romantic Country and I'm going to show you a few different books because I know not everybody has every different coloring book so hopefully I'll show you one of the coloring books that you actually have in your collection so that you can compare and then if you're deciding whether or not you want to purchase Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder you'll know whether or not you want to do so after I show you a few of these color comparisons. So the paper in this book has a very little bit of tooth. It is a lot more of an off-white compared to the bright white here, but these papers feel very, very similar. So when I feel this one, it does feel almost the same, but I could feel a tad, tad bit more tooth on this paper. Not very much at all. So the very slight difference between this book and the paper in this book, they are almost very much the same. Now I have Rita Berman's Europa book. And this one is a brighter white paper. The color is a little bit different between these two. This is a much cooler white, and this looks like to be a brighter white. I know a lot of us have the Rita Berman books, and I know a lot of us have the Eerie books, so I thought these would be really good books to compare to. But the Rita Berman books do have a bit more tooth than this Johanna Basford book. When I feel this one, and then I feel this one right up against one another, I definitely feel more tooth in the Rita. The Berman books. And now I have Circle of Life. And like I said earlier, a lot of those images were giving me Circle of Life vibes. <laughs> And that's because they truly were, because a lot of the images in this book are circles, just like that. Of course, that's where the name came from, Circle of Life. But if I open this up, you can see that the paper in here, as far as the color, is sort of like the Rita, Rita Berman one, where the paper is a much cooler white compared to this much brighter white. I really love the bright white paper. I really, really do. But when feeling this one and then feeling this one, these two feel very much alike. This one does have a very little bit more tooth. This one is a little bit smoother, but the difference in these, it is very, very slight. There is some tooth in this paper, but it is a rather smooth paper. So if you have Circle of Life, you're going to find that they are very similar. Now I have Kirby Rosanna's Worlds Within Worlds. And while I was filming this video, Johanna Basford actually came out with a statement 
on her Facebook page. So in her post, she says that publishing has been severely affected by the pandemic. She says that a few months ago, she had heard that the printer that was being used previously in the U.S. had decommissioned the machine that printed her books, and so they were no longer able to use the normal paper or the paper that she had previously used in her other books. And so she was devastated by this because they had always done such a great job, which I agree. I've always loved the paper in Johanna Basford's books. So she says that she tested lots of new papers to find one that had sufficient tooth to allow you to color and blend, but also wasn't so expensive that it made her books unaffordable. There were choices of ivory paper, but the ivory paper was much thinner, and so she didn't want to use that paper. I will try to link in the description box below to her post from her Facebook group where she talks all about the paper in these books, but she does say in that post that this paper in these books is exactly the same as the paper in the Kirby Rosanis books. And so I went and pulled one out and just feeling the paper in this book, we all know how wonderful the paper is, is in these books, but just feeling it, it is definitely the same identical paper that is used in these Kirby Rosanna's books. And I wanted to make this video because I have seen so many of the reviews on Amazon and a lot of people on Amazon are even complaining or leaving bad reviews just after seeing the paper because it's different from what the paper was in her previous books. And I know for a lot of people, myself included, we are all human and we just don't like change. <laughs> But I bet none of you would have ever guessed that the paper is exactly the same as the paper in the Kirby Rosanna's books. And I was sitting over here trying to figure it out. And so I'm glad that she made that post just as I was filming this video. But like with any coloring book, it's always important to test out your different pencils and your different mediums in any particular coloring book on the paper to see which works best because there's always a certain colored pencil or a certain medium that works best on the paper in any of the coloring books. But I hope that now that we all know that this US version of the coloring book has the same exact paper as the Kirby Rosanna's books, we can be rest assured <laughs> that we are going to be able to bring these pages to life and create something absolutely beautiful because so many of us love the paper in the Kirby Rosanna's books and I think that a lot of people were a little bit upset just because this paper is different than what we're used to in Johanna Basford's books. But I hope that this video was helpful and I really enjoyed sharing my first impressions. I will try to link Johanna's post in the description box below, but I'm not very good at linking to Facebook, so we'll see what I could do. <laughs> Everything you've seen in this video will be in the description box below. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.